go for it! Hey everybody, it's me, your buddy Dave, the host of the Dark Stuff channel here on YouTube. Welcome to the first video of uh, the new year of 2022, and uh, I'm going to do the Vinyl Tag 2022. I, I don't really know who draws up these questions, but every year it comes up. Somebody creates the questions. This year it's 22 questions. I have all of them here. I had to cheat on one or two, and you'll see why. It just, I couldn't find it, and it was just pissing me off, so I had to move on. I'm going to try and complete this video before I complete this cup of coffee. That's the challenge. Okay, go. Number one. Favorite album purchased in 2021. Well, that's... My favorite overall album of 2021 was The Mommy Heads and this album, Age of Isolation. You can find that in my Best of 2021 video. But if you're talking about something that I actually bought that is just my favorite thing overall, it is this replacement, Sorry Ma, I forgot to take out the trash, 40th anniversary box set. Easily the best thing I bought in all of 2021, no question. Number two, uh, album by the first person you saw live. That was Ario Speedwagon. And I have this. You, can, you get what you play for. Okay, their uh, 1977 live album, which I heard a rumor that the only bit left over from the actual live recordings is the snare drum hit on the, on the drums. Everything else redone in the studio. Number three, album by a duo. Different and Tilbrook, otherwise known as Squeeze, but this is when they just performed as a duo, Different and Tilbrook. Number four, Album in the Shrink. This is a, another replacement. This is the Please to Meet Me, uh, The Pleasure's All Yours, Please to Meet Me outtakes. And the reason why this is sealed is I bought it for Record Store Day, and I didn't feel the need to open it because all of the tracks appeared on the Please to Meet Me box set on CD, so I just figured, like, I've already got the outtakes, this is just to have, and uh, so it's still sealed. A concept album, okay. Kiss, music from the elder. <laughs> I've done entire videos about uh, Kiss in the 80s and uh, Kiss's kind of worst albums and stuff, and this is in there, okay. It is a concept album, and uh, it is uh, an album that Kiss definitely wishes that they'd never made. Album you've not played yet, that would be this. I just got this a little while ago, Wanda Jackson, Reckless Love Affair. I'm trying to pick up a bunch of Wanda Jackson stuff because she's got such a great voice. And uh, I have not played this one yet. Okay, number seven says artist you discovered in 2021. Uh, that would be this band, Sun June, and their album Somewhere. This is a group from Austin, Texas. So this is the promo sticker on the front there, so sorry. And uh, this is my number three album of the year in uh, my countdown video. Really, really great very chill, mellow, uh, kind of quieter indie rock, but really, really beautiful singing voice of Laura Caldwell, the singer on this one. So Sun June, Somewhere, is my uh, number seven. Number eight, a live album. Well, I happen to be working on a video about live albums, so here's one real quick, Nirvana, Live and Loud. This is actually from the television show that they did at the end of 1993 out on a pier in Seattle. And it was supposed to be Nirvana and Pearl Jam, but then Pearl Jam didn't end up doing it. So it was just Nirvana. This is a stellar fucking live record. The band in its four-piece form with Pat Smear. Really, really good. Number nine, album from a different continent. I, I don't know. I thought this one was weird. Originally, I grabbed the Scorpions record because they're from Germany and, you know, <laughs> they're from a different continent, but the record was actually an American pressing. This is a Chuck Berry record called Sings the Blues. It is manufactured by a company called Not Now Music, and it does say on the back, Made in the EU. So that qualifies as record from another continent. Okay, number 10 is where I had to cheat. Number 10 is album with a price sticker on the jacket, and I know I have some, but I just was digging through and I could not find it, so this is my cheating. This is a Ty Siegel album with just money on the front, so that's gonna, that's gonna count. Number 11, Punker New Wave album, The Clash, Give Him Enough Rope. I have tons of these, I just, just one I just grabbed. Number 12, Box Set. This is the Husker Du, the vinyl box set of 
Savage Young Do. Came out, I think, in 2017. And this is all recordings from the origin of the band up until their first album, which came out in 1982. So a couple of years of just unreleased stuff. This is a great, great, great box set. I actually have it on CD and vinyl, but that's my number 12. 13, album with a sporting theme. Um, I struggle on this a little bit, but I grabbed this one by the neighborhoods. They are sitting in the stands of a sporting event, okay? The album is called The High Hard One. Little note, guy in this band, David Meinhan, uh, plays guitar in the reunited version of The Replacements that got back together about 10 years ago. Number 14 is a jazz record. Here's one of mine. This is my Thelonious Monk, uh, the quartet, Monk's Dream. Okay, really nice record. A best of album. Also could have been my album in the shrink. This is the best of the Pixies, Wave of Mutilation. It is uh, still sealed because I was going to give it away to somebody. But then, you know, I have all the Pixies records, so there's no real point to playing this. I got it for free. Um, there you go, Pixies, Wave of Mutilation. Album with at least eight people on the jacket. Well, I'm sure a lot of people are probably showing that um, the, the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, because that has a ton of people on it. But I'm going to go with this one, the Tar Babies, Honey Bubble. It's obviously some type of spoof of Sgt. Pepper, but there's way more than eight people on this one. This is 1980, 1989 SST. Okay, soundtrack record, tons of these, but here's just one. I Was a Teenage Zombie. This is great. Uh, artists on here, The Flesh Tones, Del Fuegos, The Dream Syndicate, Violent Femmes, The Waitresses, Smithereens, Alex Jilton, Los Lobos. Uh, just great, great, great soundtrack. i never seen the movie, but... A 18, show some VCLT. Well, I don't do a lot of VCLT, so I don't get a lot, I don't give a lot. Uh, but I do know that I did get this from uh, Will at Vinyl Potato. This is a Bangles 7-inch for Hero Takes a Fall. So VCLT. Album with no writing on the jacket also could have qualified as soundtrack. This is the Less Than Zero soundtrack. It just had a clear sticker over it initially, but that is the uh, Less Than Zero album with no writing. A 7-inch single. Shit, I've got thousands of those back there. Here is one for the Rolling Stones for Hang Fire. And Neighbors on the back, both of these from Tattoo You. Color vinyl album. Okay, well, this version of Who's Could Do Candy Apple Gray. Whoops. Candy Apple Gray on. Well, I don't know if this is considered Candy Apple Gray, but just a gray vinyl. So that counts as my colored vinyl. Closing out the, uh, this year's vinyl tag is album from 1982, Van Halen, Diver Down. Great album from 1982. Still plenty of coffee to go. No problem. Made the deadline. Take care, everybody. See you real soon.